This video podcast is brought to you by McCarter Online. Talk. And how, how much do you, when do you know when you should stop talking? Or how, <laughs> or how do you stop talking? And, and when you stop talking, is that the most One of us usually or? tells the other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, when, no. when John says, I have to get to the drama of mm-hmm. guild at one o'clock. It, it, oh, honestly, I know that we've talked enough that. You, the, the talking uh, is uh, not only, in many ways, the most essential part of any collaboration. Uh, but it's also the part that's the most fun because um, uh, get uh, three smart or smart-ish people in a room, uh, and you're exploring this kind of stuff, uh, and you're comfortable enough with with each other. And this is really important, um, so that uh, you know you allow yourself to say anything without worrying about whether it's going to sound stupid. Um, uh, things start to happen, and. Um, uh, talking is also a significantly less painful than writing, which is brutal. And uh, so you reach a point where it, it becomes uh, embarrassing uh, to say, let's have another meeting and keep talking. And, and everybody knows they should, it's time to shut up and go actually sit down and, and uh, put pen to paper uh, or, or uh, keys, fingers to key, fingers to keyboard as it is. But it, it, it um, uh, there's a danger in in uh, in talking too much. Uh, there's a greater danger in not talking enough. Any successful collaboration works that way. It's, it's the days when the book writer would go away and write uh, a, a libretto and then turn it over to a couple of guys, you know, with cigars and derby hats who would bang out a few songs that got added to it. Those days are long gone. Uh, Richard and I have our own long honed collaborative method that, that uh, we involves do. more talking. <laughs> After well, the three of us have talked, then, then David and I go off and say, now, that thing John said, uh, and then we have to define what it is and try to, to go the next step, which is to shape a musical entity inside of that. Of, a of, scene. A scene a that also scene. involves music, uh, that, that has a, uh, a shape to it within itself, that has a songness to it that uh, sometimes, eventually it'll sort of crystallizes around a title or a, an idea. Sometimes like a few lines get written, but eventually when we get it clear, the moment usually happens when David goes and writes a piece of music, and then when that piece of music has the scene in it, mm-hmm. um, and we then, actually we work over the music. We, to make sure that, the, that it, it seems to be saying exactly what the scene ought to say. So you're and both sitting at the piano? No, he's sitting at the piano. I'm just, the I, piano. I'm, I'm just across the room being a pain in the ass. Actually, the, the, the thing, the, 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 uh, the hallmark for us is when I get out of the chair. Yeah. If, if the melody is good, I get out of the chair. When if, if he plays something and I don't get out of the chair, that means probably that's not going to be around long and he'll write something else. So my, my job and my litmus test is to keep Richard awake. <laughs> this podcast has been brought to you by McCarter Theatre in Princeton, New Jersey. For tickets, call 609-258-ARTS or visit www.mccarter.org.